Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I will explain how to start with Unity 3D and make your first terrain. This tutorial targets people who want to start with Unity but don't exactly know where to start. In this video you don't have to know anything about programming, art or even know how Unity works. So the way I started with Unity is to just begin at the bottom. I used every skill I had to make something which even didn't look like a game, but I was proud of it. I didn't have any skill at that moment. The only thing I knew was Google SketchUp and Paint.net. I just started to create an island without a concept in mind. Because of my limited skills, the only thing you could do in that game was walk around. I looked up a tutorial on how to make a campfire and when I made that, I was super amazed by that. I just made a fire in my game. Nowadays I make a fire within 2 minutes but at that time these small things were huge steps for me. I was very happy because that was the first time I made something what looked like a game. Learning is all about getting more experienced in the things you do or know. And it doesn't matter whatever that may be. So my advice just begin and you're learning. Now let's finally start after this talk. But I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't need to have skills beforehand. So we start by making a new project. Go to file, new project. Here you can name your project, I'll name mine test. In this section you can import the pre-made packages which come with Unity. For this video we'll import the character controller, the light flares, uh, skyboxes, Terrain assets, water basic, and that's it for now. Then hit create. If you forget to import some packages, you can just import them later. So to create a new terrain, go to create terrain. You can see this big plane over here. This is your terrain, but it doesn't have any textures or sculpting. To apply a texture, go to the paint tool, edit textures, add texture. Over the texture tab, click select and look up something like this cross. Then click add. The first material you add is the main texture. So that's applied immediately. It's very dark in the scene because we don't have any lights. To create a directional light, go to create directional light. You can see the light over here. For this video I want to make a lake and some mountains. To make the mountains, select your terrain, go to the terrain height Select a brush, for this case we use this one. Select your brush size to be something larger. And just click and hold over your terrain. So this should be fine for now. To make the lake we want to make the brush size something larger and the opacity something less. We raise the terrain a bit, make the brush size smaller and if you hold shift and then click it lowers the terrain. So now if you we've got a sort of ring. To make the water, you go to the standard assets, water basic, and you drag the daylight symbol into the scene. You can see it's very small, so to make it bigger, select it, and then over here, click the scale button. Hold the white box and drag it out. 
it's now at the same height of the terrain so to raise it press the move tool and drag this green arrow up we now have something which looks like this to smooth out this ring a bit we go to terrain smooth height tool and just go around it you can add some details by the raising and then selecting these brushes to place some trees we go select the terrain and go to the place trees tab hit edit trees add tree and hit this option box and select here the palm press F and now adjust the brush size and the tree density to your own taste and also just paint over the terrain To erase some trees, hold down shift. We want to give the, the edge of the lake a, all the texture, so go to the paint tool, add the textures, add a new texture, select the texture, and for this one select good dirt. Hit add, select your texture and adjust your brush size and then just paint around the edge. We now have a sort of beach effect. I'm going to smooth out this edge because it's very steep. And for this, I use the smooth height tool. So we now have the beginning of our scene. To make it playable, we need to add a character. These are located in the character controllers. Drag the first person controller onto the terrain. Make sure the character is above the terrain because otherwise it will fall through. So select the move tool and drag the green arrow up. If you now hit play, you can see that you can control the character you just dragged into and walk around your scene. To add some details to the mountains, we go to Terrain, the Paint tool, Edit Texture, Add Texture, Select your texture and hit the Grass Rock. Add the texture, select your texture and now let's paint on top of the mountains. Now you can see that's a bit more variety in the game. If you look at the sky, you can see it's completely blue. To change this to a sky box, we go to edit, render settings, and here on the sky box material, click the option box. From this panel, we select the sunny, sunny sky. Here in the game window, you can see that the skybox is applied. If now it play, you can see the clouds. To make a sun flare, select the directional light and under flare, click the option box. Here, select the 50 millimeter zoom. 
you can see that the lens flare isn't where the sun is. So to adjust this, we have to rotate the directional light. Press F to focus on the object you selected. Now press the rotate tool to rotate the directional light. Rotate it till the sun flare is at the position of the sun. Now you can see the sun flare is at the right position. This is the end of this basic tutorial. I hope you found something interesting in it and if you like this tutorial please subscribe and like this video.